Hello everyone and welcome to the 2023 plan with me. I have no idea how this is going to go, but let's get into it. Don't you just love the sound of the snap? So I am jumping right into the goals section of my planner. This is where I have my main goals for 2022, word of the year and quote of the year. I wanted to revisit that before getting into my plan with me in my spiral. This is the layout that makes sense in my head. Go with me on this. I wanted to do a reflection this year, but I honestly, I couldn't. I could not do a reflection of 2022. We'll talk about that in one of the next few videos. Let's go ahead and start with this breakdown. So in my spiral, this is where I do most of my brain dumping or breakdowns of video ideas. First thing I know that I need is my word of the year. And then I need my quote of the year. They work hand in hand and sometimes the word of the year, the word just jumps out at me in the tail end of the year. It finds me, I don't find it. For the quote of the year, it kind of complements the word. Not necessarily the word of the year needs to be in the quote of the year, but it's something that will help me along the way throughout the year. More to come on that. My yearly goals, these are just the overall goals that I have for the entire year. And then we can break them down to financial goals, fitness goals, we can break them down into personal goals. But for me, I want to know what those top five or top 10 goals for the year would be. I'm just going to be jotting down a few things because I am migrating things that didn't happen in 2022 or I didn't complete or execute to my liking and then incorporate a couple other things that I would like to happen for 2023. I need routines. The good thing about routines for me is knowing that my quality of life improves the more I do them. Once I execute my routines, then I know that I have satisfied this part of my life, that part of my life, and at the end of it, I will have a more peaceful life. Think about it like this. If you don't use your cleaning routine, then you'll spend all of Sunday or the better part of Saturday morning cleaning up the entire house instead of doing your Monday cleaning, Tuesday cleaning, Wednesday cleaning, and so on. And then when the weekend comes, you just have tidying up to do. Just want to touch on this briefly. This is the daily insert from Infinite Lotus. Beautifully formatted insert. We dated for a while, a few months actually. We went on a few dates. It didn't work out. We're not compatible. It, it's nothing against the insert, but we cannot be in a relationship together. We just don't work well together. It's gonna be good for someone else, but long-term, this is not the insert for me. We can't even be friends. Like we're just not seeing eye to eye. So for those that enjoy their daily inserts to look like this, great. But for me, he's not my cup of tea, okay? That's just not my guy, okay? Anyway, let's get back into it. Aside from wanting to be very disciplined in my routines moving forward, I am a list girl. I love a good list. Pantry items, a list of hair care products, wine list, reading list, planner supplies list. Quite a few options in the list section and I do have some ideas for YouTube videos that I want to create. I'll definitely be getting creative with the planner videos or at least how they're presented to you. This video is really the foundation for what my planner will look like or what it will contain. It won't have every single thing that I'll have in my planner, but it at least gives me a broad overview as to what I want to see in my planner. I'll be here all day if I write out every reason for my yearly goals and if I put down every single list, I can elaborate on those in future videos. In my finance section, this is where I have my 2023 annual budget breakdown. It lets me know how much money is needed for the full 12 months of whatever the bill is or the expense. It will also be a place where I have my expense tracker on a monthly basis 
any savings challenges that I'm working on. It will also have the overview of my bills, expenses, which I really do have to get better at monitoring that, which goes back to the routines, a financial routine, and making sure that I am checking on my expenses on a daily or even weekly basis, as well as my debt payoff and you know how that went for 2022. We don't need to go over it again in this video. I want to take another look at the monthly inserts from Cloth and Paper before I really map out what will go where when I finally do move into my 2023 planner. I'm air quoting because it's literally the same agenda I've used for years. Anyway, if you've seen my year at a glance in my 2022 planner, then you already know what I'm using this for. But since it's all on one insert, I need to get smaller dots so that I can do the same thing. One thing you can't say is that you don't have enough places for notes, okay? Ashley & Co, also known as Cloth & Paper, made sure that you had notes for days on these inserts. Like, I just flipped over two, but then there's more because behind this, you have more notes. Yeah, mm -hmm. notes aside, we are looking at the... Uh, overview for January. We have the goal sections now and something that I do want to incorporate in the year to come and years after are the eight pillars of wellness or eight dimensions of wellness. If I pay close attention to those eight areas, I should have a very fulfilling and an improvement to the quality of my life. I am going to find a way to add all eight within these six boxes. I think I want the monthly to reflect my workouts and YouTube video posting days, off days, late days, all of the things. I'm not really sure about the to-do list on the far right side on the first part of the insert, but the calendar will definitely be more focused on what I'm actually doing for the month. I won't be putting my finances on it like I have done in the past. We are doing so well with this brainstorming. I mean, I'm proud of me. I hope you're doing yours and it's going well. Now, I wanted to show you what one of my older inserts looked like for my undated daily. This is from Cloth and Paper. This insert is the one that I have a long-term relationship with. We are compatible, simpatico. We just work very well together. I use the note section of this insert more so for brainstorming of a bigger project or a video, something that has a lot of moving parts. And I don't need a huge schedule section for the day. The entire layout just works well for me. So I'm just going to put that within my brainstorm of how I will utilize each of the sections on this insert from the priorities to the to-do list. And I have to keep in mind that everything won't happen every day, whether I pre-plan or I am fully engaged in something. Sometimes it just won't happen the same time. So I can migrate items to the next day or for later on in the week, but at least I have a place where it can be housed on the insert. I'm not one to decorate my planner. I like it being minimal and functional, but I still want it to look nice. So I am switching out my dashboards. I've realized that I love my planner being a cool tone planner. It might have elements of gold or texture involved but for the most part that's what I like. I have no idea what I'm going to do with the pockets of my planner but I love sticky notes. I am going to restock and make sure I always have them on hand. I really enjoy using sticky notes. I'm going to look into other shops that I can purchase from, but keeping in mind cool tone grays, that's what I like. I'm also switching out the pocket that I have in the front of my planner. I might move it to the middle or the back. Haven't decided yet, but that's also on my list. I also wanted to say that after this video, you should be seeing my pen case video. I'll talk about all of the pens that I keep within my pen case and I might have a pen test, more like a swatch, but not really because it's not aesthetically pleasing. So if you're coming over here for aesthetics, you're in the wrong place. But anyway, 
I also want to say happy holidays to you and yours. For those that don't celebrate the holidays, I hope you're enjoying your time off if you have it. For those that are at work, I hope you're enjoying that extra money. And for those that are in the early stages of grieving, I understand I've been where you are. And for that, I now know that isolation isn't always the best solution but it is something that happens. So for those that know of someone that is grieving during the holidays, reach out to them, just letting them know that you're here. They might need a laugh. They might need just a distraction. I know you're busy people, you have things to do, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>